Doll Fam. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the fourth day of Vlogmas. Okay, so today we are talking about something that happened on Thursday. I was trying to get this a little bit earlier, but yesterday I decided to clean my room so I didn't have time to film it. But now I can sit here, get my thoughts all gathered together, and fully give you all my thoughts and everything on this picture that came out. And this is the new picture that Rainbow High dropped. They just dropped it and it is their Rainbow High Pacific Coast line. And here is what the caption says of the picture. This just in, hashtag Rainbow High isn't the only fine arts school in town. On the west coast, the days are sunny and the classes are poolside. Maybe I'll transfer to Pacific Coast. Save your holiday cards. The rainbow's reaching new sands in January of 2022. Wow, y'all. So they dropped that. We were all freaking out. They like broke doll Instagram, which is exciting. But then I started looking at the pictures more and more. And I'm going to get into my feelings and opinions on this. So I'm going to break this down character by character. We're going to talk about each one individually. And then we're going to talk about like the line as a whole and everything like that. Price point and all of that. We're going to get into everything. Okay. So we're going to start with, I have these pictures here provided by Maddie Dolls. So first we're going to start with Simone Summers. Here she is. Okay, so this doll, I like her. I really do like her face and everything, but she has given me such Brianna Dulce vibes that, I don't know. Like, I think her eyes are also the same purple as Brianna. I'm not sure how I feel about her. And also, what we've seen from the leaks... They're only getting an outfit, one outfit, and the other stuff is just kind of accessories. I'm not sure. So this is the only outfit we get for her. It's kind of cute. It might be really easy to style her with other clothing that fits her aesthetic. That'll be kind of fun. I, I do like the visor and the ponytail and everything about her. She's not a character I really have any problems with, except that she kind of does look like Brianna Dulce, and I kind of wish she didn't. And you can see her here sitting on a chair from the place that I'm assuming that I think the boy's gonna come with, I'm pretty sure. And you can see her beach back here, which does look really cool. I like the stuff, but I wish we got a second outfit instead, like a more casual outfit instead of just the bathing suit. All right, let's move on to the next character. Next, we have Finn Rosado. And obviously he has to be Hispanic because his last name is pink in Spanish. and. I have mixed opinions with this boy. One, he has the same skin tone as River, so he's basically just River, just pink. I hope he has a different eye color, but I don't know how I feel about him, honestly. He looks okay. I kind of, I love the fanny pack. I do love that. I will say that. Then the hair is okay, but we just got that with Tough Guy, and I feel like the hair could have been executed better on Tough Guy tough dude tough guy whatever but i i don't know on the rainbow high i'm not sure how i feel about this hair and i might change it up a little bit i'm not sure he is kind of giving me um bad bunny vibes now that i see it the glasses are hiding his eyes too much and i don't really like the glasses so i really hope he has like a really cute eye color that's not blue or teal or anything like that but the glasses are kind of throwing it off for me. He obviously still has the same head shape and I'm guessing the same body as the as River Kendall, which I really don't like. I don't I I really honestly dislike the Rim High boy bodies so much. They're some of I think the worst boy bodies that we've seen on a doll collection. Like I love Ken. I love the OMG boys perfection. Then the Monster High boys were really realistic for, you know, being teens. Uh, but I don't know the rainbow high ones just feel so off to me and I was hoping they would change that with their future boys That's why maybe they might have taken so long to release another one, but no, we're basically just getting a pink colored river, which Okay Thank you next and this boy better not be a love interest for Bella because that would literally Annoy me so much that would annoy me so much. The only way I think that I could fully accept me fully loving this boy is if he is somehow related to Brianna because he does look a lot like Brianna as well. That would be everything. Next up, we have Miss Bella Parker. <sighs> I was expecting so much more. She is basically just a replica of the first doll that we got. In 
in a new outfit, basically. So I guess it's cool. I love the hat. The glasses, I really don't like that style at all. And then the bathing suit and the little cover up is cute. It's nothing out of this world or extraordinary for Bella. I'm definitely already planning a look for her and I kind of already have everything I want to do in mind. But literally they could have done so much more with her and it's kind of disappointing because she's the only returning character and they didn't do anything, which is kind of lame. But yeah, and if you notice, her feet are flat. Her feet are indeed flat. Let's get into that for a second. I do need to talk about this for a second. Flat feet. I will accept them in Rainbow High if the if the ankle is articulated. So you can switch them to flat shoes, sandals, anything like that, to heels. That is the only way I would accept it. But it seems like these dolls were only are only going to be interchangeable with the other dolls that have flat feet, which is only going to be two other girls in the line besides Bella. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm very conflicted and I really honestly don't like the flat feet at all. I really hope they change that because that's going to be kind of annoying and I might have to buy another Jad Dawson so my Bella can have regular feet and still be articulated which is kind of annoying but uh, I do like sandals. I just wish you know it was different give us an ankle articulation because for the price point, which I will talk about later, there should be extra articulation. Next up is Harper Dune or the Marissa wannabe. So this doll is basically a replica of Marissa Golding. Literally, like the, the eyes, the hair is kind of all the same as Marissa. There's nothing too much different. She does have curly hair as opposed to Marissa. I don't know how I feel about her. She's cute. I kind of get the aesthetic that they were trying to go with her, but I'm not really super duper feeling her. Her shoes are incredible though, and I think she also has flat feet as well from the pictures, which is again disappointing. Uh, I don't think we should get a doll first with flat feet. I think that should be in future releases, not our first initial doll of them. Then I do love like the little accessories, like the little uh, tropical drink there then the hat's cute i like how cohesive her outfit is but again she's not my favorite at all next we have margot de perla which is honestly my favorite one and i think a lot of people's favorite one and i think she works so well she works really well and let me check here does she have freckles that would be so cute if she had freckles she is stunning y'all better be ready to see her in a lot of restyles because i love her so much i think she's my favorite from this collection she's the one who seems the most different and she looks like a better version of amaya to me i'm sorry i'm not a big fan of amaya so uh, i do really like her and i love that natural very light pink lip color and the eyes are so pretty and just blended so well with her hair and i think her bathing suit is actually one of my favorites but i'm probably gonna cut it up a little bit here and there because i do want to change it and it doesn't seem like she actually has flat feet which is really cool and you could see like her little bag there with the glasses and her sandals which are arched so i'm really glad she's gonna have heels she's definitely my favorite and i love her so much next up we have hallie capri AK Skylar 2.0. She literally looks so much like Skylar. Like, I'm so disappointed in this doll. There's so much I could have done. Oh my gosh. Like, she's the same skin tone as Skylar. I think she has the same eye colors as Skylar. And she has the same hair color as Skylar. It's literally Skylar. You could put this outfit on Skylar and she'll look the same. I'm not sure how I feel about this character. She does have the different shaped eyes, but it's like, I don't know how I feel about it, y'all. I wish she had either a lighter skin tone or a darker skin tone just to differentiate her from Skylar, but I don't know why they would make another doll that looks kind of identical. Like, are you going to explain that that's her sister? Why don't they have the same last name? I don't know. I am not feeling her, and... You know, y'all know that I love Skylar because she's my mini Ariana, so I don't know how I feel about this doll, TBH. Next, we have Phaedra Westward. Oh, she had so much potential. She had so much potential. 
I already have a lot of plans that I want to do with her hair because I'm not feeling it at all, but she's kind of cute. I can kind of see the aesthetic, but it's going to be kind of hard to dress her in outfits to really match her colors that she's going for. I already said I don't like her eye color at all. I do want to change it to a different color, but she's kind of cool. A lot of these dolls have visors as a hat accessory. They're kind of cute. And she has scrunchies, which is also cute. But you will see that these also don't have earrings and bracelets. Do take a note of that because we're going to get to that in a bit. And she does have the arched feet that we're used to. And these dolls are kind of lounging in a pool, which is beautifully stunning. And it's like all clear so you can like see. I love it so much. And I cannot wait to get the place it because the place it does look like really, really nice. And that is pretty much it for the breakdown of the girls there. Oh my goodness. And also Hallie Capri, she also does have flat feet as well. That's pretty much it for the breakdown of the Rainbow High Pacific Coast dolls. My first impressions are I'm very underwhelmed. Like severely underwhelmed. Like after Rainbow High set the standard high when they released Slumber Party and Series 3. They set that bar so high that I was expecting Pacific Coast to nail it out of the park. Still, I think the Brat Sunkiss Summer dolls remain as some of the best beach dolls that were, have ever been made in the history of dolls because they are, they're literally perfection. You can literally go through the pictures on Google and you will see them looking stunning. These dolls kind of don't match up to that in my opinion. And I feel like they fall short in so many places. These dolls are going to retail for $31.99. And I think that's a problem because they don't come with a second outfit and you basically just get very minimal clothes on them no accessories the only accessories they do come with are like hats and stuff for their hair you don't get earrings you don't get bracelets necklaces you get nothing like that i understand that it is a beach line but this stuff could have been included in their little bag that they can take around i'm really disappointed with this already I hope, I'm still gonna get them all. Y'all know I'm gonna get them all. But I hope maybe when I get them, my opinions change because it has happened with dolls before where my opinion has changed about from the pictures. But I have never felt this negative about a Rainbow High collection until this one because everything has been so like overwhelmingly like amazing that this one, this one kind of disappointed me, not gonna lie. So that's those are my thoughts after a couple of days of letting it sink in and it's just mainly disappointment but i'm excited for margo i'm excited for margo the perla i love her she's everything but everyone else is kind of kind of a miss let me know what y'all think in the comments down below and make sure to let me know which character is your favorite I do want to hear all of y'all's opinions because I think I do have the different opinion this time because uh, I know it, this is definitely going to be controversial and I was like kind of debating if I wanted to make this video because it's such a drastic different opinion but I do want to read all y'all's comments on your thoughts so make sure to leave those down below which one's your favorite are you going to get this collection what do you think as a whole and just let me know all that in the comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all on the next video of Vlogmas. Whatever that could be. I will see y'all later. Bye!